Gary from Mr G Shave here. Um, I think this is shave number 42. I uh, finally took the plunge and got myself something new um, as an early Christmas present I suppose but um, yeah so I'll be showing that to you very shortly uh, but let's start off with the software that I usually do. So I'm going to go with Bam BE <clears throat> pre-shave it's a gel and if you want to have a look it sort of looks like that inside so um, the third of four samples that I've had from Wickham's this one <clears throat> is 1912 citrus musk I don't know whether that's going to pick up there it is 1912 citrus musk <clears throat> and let's have a look. Open it up. Oh, that's probably the strongest scented citrus soap that I've got. That's very nice. It's um, sort of a, a sweet and sour version of citrus and it's orange, lemon, grapefruit, it's a bit of everything. Again, I'm not brilliant at describing scents but I know that that is very citrusy indeed. Um, again, it's a semi-hard soap. Let's take it out. It's, you know, it's still pliable, almost like window putty, if you remember what that is. <laughs> um, or modelling clay, well no, it's, it's harder than modelling clay if I'm honest. Um, I'm following that up with, it's obviously going to be a citrus theme, so lemon, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. All Seasons Lemon Cologne. Um, and to top it off, Supreme Smoother Coconut and Lime. So there you go. That's the software that I'm using today. Hardware wise, I'm using my Razor Rock F400 brush. I think this is either 24 or 26 mil knot. I, look, I really enjoy this brush. Um, you know, I, I know I say this about a lot of my brushes, but this actually is one of my favourites. The way it looks, uh, the way it feels in the hand, there's some nice weight to this. Um, and the knot, it has got a little bit of backbone to it. It hasn't got amazing backbone, but it's enough. <coughs> the bowl that I'm using today is my Q-Shave bowl. And if you listen, you can hear there's water in there already. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the new razor. So that's the new razor. As you will probably all ready have guessed, this is a Rex Envoy. It's not the Rex Ambassador, it's the Rex Envoy. Beautiful knurling on the handle. It's quite a short handle. Um, if I compare it to the Merca 34, um, they're about the same size. So let's put them like that. They're about the same size. Um, so there you go. So a short handle. So if you're not if you're not keen on short handles. Um, probably not the razor for you, but this is a stainless steel 316, I believe, steel. Um, beautiful knurling on the handle. I don't mind a short handled razor. Not, not the best for head shaves, but I'll, I'll probably give this a go at some point for a head shave. Um, but yeah, nice way. I've been umming and ahhing about whether to get one of these. Um, in the pack came uh, Rex lifetime warranty card um, nothing on the back 
a Rex sticker. Um, so that's quite nice. I'm not sure where I'll put that, but there you go. And I bought it from a company called The Gentleman's Groom Room. Um, which, I, I mean, it was the cheapest place to get it. I think it was £99, uh, brand new. And it came in the box. And inside the box is basically all this shredded paper. I, ecologically wise, yeah, great. Um, packaging wise, yeah, for that kind of money, you expect better packaging than that. But as far as I'm aware, they've up updated their packaging. So I did not obviously get the new packaging. Uh, there's obviously still a bit of stock of the, uh, of the old packaging out there. So fair enough. <clears throat> I believe they've redesigned their packaging. So hopefully that's a, an improvement on what, on, on what this is. Um, <clears throat> but I understand why they've done it. They, they, I think they've done it for ecological reasons you know less pollution pollution for the for, for mother earth um so yeah that's what i'm using today i'm going to get myself ready and uh, i'll be right back right then here we go um the thing i didn't mention in the last section um is that i've got a brand new astra superior platinum or astra sp green blade in there so i don't know whether that's possible to see um but there you go. Um, right, I've been looking forward to this. Um, wanting to try another Wickham sample because I've been so impressed. Um, and uh, obviously wanting to try the, uh, the Rex Envoy razor. It just looks so nice. It's probably very comparable to some of my other razors. And I've always said, you know, that I wouldn't buy anything unless it was different. This just appealed to me, the looks of it. That's the, the reason I bought it. It just looks stunning. So uh, that's why I went ahead and bought it, even though it's probably very similar to other razors that I've got. But we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. Right, so I've uh, squeezed out the brush, given it three shakes. And the other nice thing is uh, this is... Uh, Going to be nice warm lather. Today is not very nice here in the UK. Um, pretty grey and miserable. When you consider, I suppose it's getting late now, it's coming up to four, but it hasn't really changed in terms of light conditions all day long. Um, oh, I tell you what, <laughs> this, this soap the, the, the scent again, the scent has got to be six, seven. It's up there, it really is. Um, stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm just adding water now to this. So I hope everybody's had a good week and uh, I hope everybody's having better weather than we are here in the UK. <laughs> if you're living in the UK, I hope you're having better weather than we are in the Midlands. Um, but there you go. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, yeah, so I've been really looking forward to this. I love the look of this razor. It's a really modern look to it. This is creating loads of lather. Oh, hang on, get it in shot, Garant. Or Gary. <laughs> um, I call myself Garant, it's my Welsh name, so. But some people prefer, or a lot of people prefer to call me Gary because they find my name difficult to pronounce. But there you go, loads of lather. Again, very easy to lather. Really, really good thick, thick lather. Let's just quickly rub in the pre-shave. I forgot to do that. Oh, 
if you're wondering what that is on, on my finger, that's a, a burn. <laughs> um, caught myself on the, on the cooker. Right. So let's go for this. I mean, it's super glossy, lovely lather. And I have no doubt this is going to be another great shave. And the scent, it's, it's a more complex scent than say your Tob's grapefruit. Um, with that, it's just like putting a fresh grapefruit juice on your face. It's, it's really realistic. Um, the, uh, the scent on this, there's a lot of citrus in this, but it's not just lemon. It's a mixture of different citrus both the sweet side, the sweeter elements and the sour elements of citrus. Uh, and it's got a musk, it's got a musky sort of scent in the background there. Really, really nice. S scent strength now on the face. I would say it's definitely a six, if not a seven. It, it's, it's really approaching, if not equaling, the, the scent strength of the Tobbs sandalwood. But it doesn't smell like sandalwood, obviously. But the scent strength is definitely up there, which is really nice. It's, I, I like a strong scent. I don't really like the, the scents. Well, I do like them, but then I don't enjoy them as much. I like a scent that's in your face. Right then, here we go. First pass with the Rex Envoy. Really looking forward to this. There's lovely weight to this as well, so here we go. That's the other criticism I have of the uh, the Rex Envoy, and I don't know whether it's the same with the Ambassador, but there's no blades in it, and blades cost nothing. So you could you could have put some blades in, but. <clears throat> Very smooth, very smooth. I would say it's certainly more aggressive than a Merca 34C or a Edwin Jagger D89. But it's only one notch up. <clears throat> and it's cutting through seven days of growth with no effort. So very, I, it, really nice efficiency on this razor and the grip is excellent you could have well I've got wet hands I haven't I don't think they're soapy but um, <clears throat> if you had soapy hands I don't think you'd have any problem gripping this but Very easy to find the angle on this. Uh, and it's, I love the weight. I love that it's quite hef hefty for its size. It's really quite hefty. Um, but really, really nice. And it's, it's scythed. <laughs> if you know what a scythe is, it's scythed through the uh, seven days growth. Really nice, really nice. It's performed admirably. Um, I would at first, and maybe slightly biased um, impression is that it's, I mean, it's almost BBS on my, on my cheeks. I mean, if I go against, it's not. But obviously, if I go like that, it's it's really there's nothing left. <clears throat> Just stroking down with the grain. Um, and again, on my neck. But it's, if I go like that, yeah, there's some left. But even going up on my cheeks, it doesn't doesn't feel. It feels like it's got ninety percent of it off already. <clears throat> you could almost get away, I think, with with a two pass shave. 
even after seven days growth. So that's a good thing. I haven't done a two pass shave in a very long time though. And I don't intend to start now. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna rave about the razor and the soap today. Um, the quality of this Wickham's, I'd never used this Wickham soap until I tried these samples, two samples or three samples ago now, and they've proved themselves time and time again. Uh, and they, when I do buy s some uh, tubs of it, which will be before Christmas. I probably won't feature it again on the channel for a little while because I've done four on Wickham soaps. Um, I, I have to say though, I mean, it, it, it's going to be one of my favourite um, soap manufacturers. So here we go, across the grain on my right hand side or your left as you're looking at the screen. It's straight up. For most people this would be against the grain, but for me it isn't. So the combination of the Astra Superior Platinum on its first use with the Envoy is a match made in heaven for me, for my skin, my, uh, you know, the thickness of my bristles. You can feel the blade, certain angles, you can feel the blade on this. And it's definitely more efficient than the Merca 34. I, I, it's certainly, I would say it's approaching the, the game changer 0.84 and the, it's probably the game changer 0.64 sort of in terms of how it feels, although I haven't got the 6.6 .6 or whatever the number is. Um, I've got the 0.84. Um, and the Edwin Jagger, it, it's, a, it's more towards that than it is towards the Edwin Jagger DE89 or the Merca 34C. You can definitely feel the blade, certainly on the neck area. Um, yeah, I, I can definitely feel the blade on there. So, second pass done. the third. The, the performance of the soap is second to none as far as I'm concerned. Um, and the performance of the razor, I'm impressed. I am impressed and I would say it, it is different in aggression to anything that I've got. It sort of fits that space between the Merca 34C and the Edwin Jagger D80, not D89, 316. So between the 34C and the 316, it fits in that space there, but is very close to the 316 in terms of how aggressive it feels. And the 316, bear in mind, the 316 is a very smooth razor, but it, just because it's smooth doesn't mean it's not aggressive. It is aggressive. <clears throat> but I wouldn't say this is as aggressive as that. But it's nice. Really nice. Right. So, against the grain. Really, really, really smooth. Now, if a razor or a, or is going to fail anywhere, or if your blade needs to be replaced, that's where I would feel it. It would start to tug just on the jawline there, or it'll tug as I go against the grain across 
my neckline. Smooth. Really smooth. Right, against the grain up my neck. So, third pass done, and we'll start the uh, pickup pass. Yeah, usual spots. I wouldn't say it's behaved in it, you know, in a more efficient way against any of my other razors, really. Well, I mean, at the same level, shall we say. But even with the Moolah 41, the beast, I still have to have, I still have to do a pickup pass. So. There we go, we're ready. The one thing I would say, since I've been using the Wickham soaps, I haven't wanted to finish the shave. <laughs> it's just the scent. It's amazing. Perfect. This is, you know, you don't under underestimate this this razor it's definitely got some aggression to it um, I think I'm gonna feel this I'm gonna use the Allen block and I think I'm gonna know I've used this razor so that's my pickup pass done let's just feel feel around yeah that's BBS nothing left right I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back Right, all cleaned up. Um, I, uh, I'm going to start my post shave now, but just to let you know that the skin feel after, or the post shave feel after using the Wickham soap and that razor, excellent. Uh, feels moisturised, hydrated and moisturised. Smooth, real BBS shave. Very pleased. So let's go on with the cold. Lovely ice cold water. I'm pretty sure I well I know I what my my water bills are seven trent, so it's Welsh water, so there you go. Probably from the Elan Valley. And if if you don't know the Elan Valley, look it up on Google Maps. It's it's a beautiful part of Mid Wales, L loads of lakes. Well basically dammed areas. 
to provide th water for the Midlands. So I believe that's where our water comes from and it's ice cold, really nice. Right then, so let's get on with the post shave. Uh, I've, I've dried myself off, I've got to use, I'm going to spray, I'm going to use the alum. Let's see what the alum tells me. I don't always use alum, but, oh yeah, there's a burn to this. Definitely got a burn to this. Wow, a lot stronger burn than I thought it was going to be. Wow, nice, but but this is up there with one of the strongest burns I've ever had. So it just goes to show how close that shave was. I must have taken at least two layers off. Right. Um, one moment. Right. Emergency over. We needed some logs for the fire. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, that alum uh, definitely has, has got a, a, a residual burn, so I'm going to take this off now. Oh, that's better. Let's go on with the <clears throat> Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Very nice. That's, the Thayer's Lemon is nothing like the scent of the um, of the uh, the, the, the Wickham's citrus musk. It's a the citrus musk, Wickham's citrus musk is a very musky, citrusy scent, lovely scent. Right, I'm going on with the all seasons lemon cologne. Oh, oh this has got to burn again. <laughs> Wow, very nice. Sort of <clears throat> the alum and the aftershave. It's like getting a slap around the face <laughs> on both cheeks. Oh. Right, I'm going on with the Supreme Smoother Facial Moisturizer Coconut and Lime. So I'm just going to let's give it a shake. I'm going to put about three or four squirts on. That's all I'm putting on. Uh, there you go. Oh. And that is a perfect finish to a citrus themed shave. Oh, really nice. So there you go, excellent shave overall. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the rose and then we'll, we'll sum up, but um, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the razor in its constituent parts. So it is a three-piece razor and basically you just unscrew it here take the top off, the, there's no overhang for the, um, for the blade, when you put the blade in it's, you know, there's no overhang so you don't have to worry about that. So for those of you who prefer a razor with that, with, with no overhang, this is ideal and it's, a, you know, it's going to last you a lifetime, it really is. Um, 
it just looks stunning. So well done to uh, Rex. Um, I, I just, it's it's a really really nice looking la razor. It's got Rex on the back. I don't know whether you can see that. Oh, there you go. So whether that's upside down or if it is, I'll just do that for now. I'll just show you that way. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. It's probably making you all feel a bit weird. But there you go. That's the, uh, that's the razor. Very nice. Worth the investment, yes. Um, different shave, yes it was actually. Uh, I, I certainly had a, a much bigger reaction from the Allen block than I thought I was going to get. I knew it was, you know, an aggressive razor, uh, or efficient, should I say. I just didn't realise how efficient it was. Um, so there you go. But yeah, very enjoyable shave. So from me and the Rex Envoy razor, I'll see you next week. Bye bye for now.